it's going to be a bunch of frequencies, the first of which, right, is just a wave that would that would have a peak in the center, right? Yeah. The peak would be in the center. And then I think we've seen right, we've seen some that have been like one and a half wavelengths. Yeah, definitely. It reflects the same way. And then when you can fit two wavelengths, that's what's that's what's bothering me a little bit. It's like why haven't we seen one where two waves have fit into the length of the pipe. I haven't yeah. found that yet. Well, you want to solve for that? So if we have a six foot pipe, we want a wavelength of three feet? Right. Okay. 91 centimeters should give us two standing waves. 91.44. And that would be in between G4 and F sharp four. Okay. That's about 88 and 93 centimeters. All right, let's see here. That's a good one. There's one right there, but it's hard to catch. Yeah, that one's pretty subtle. What about that like really violent resonant frequency that we found? Down here low? Yeah, yeah, it's right there. So what's going on there? So you think that's a half wave in the whole length of the tube? Yeah, so I think that it's a, it's a, it's a long wavelength, right? Uh -huh. So that there's like a, um, there's, the, the, there's a lot of density in that long wavelength, right? So it's like, it, and a lot of energy in it, right? So uh, it's causing, a lot of gas to evacuate here and it's extinguishing all this stuff because we don't have um, it's like not enough, have enough gas coming in and I think it all it all jumps out um, at, towards this way towards the amplifier um, tall flame test tall flame. <laughs> Mostly for the tall things, like you see something's happening, but it's not clear what. Maybe low volume with tall things will make a difference. You want me to turn the volume down? No, I got it here. 